Hello from Seoul. You wanna have a good bowl of Japanese ramen, but you don't wanna go out or you don't wanna spend too much money on that? Then you came to the right place. To make that authentic bowl of ramen, all you need is just 15 minutes and a couple of bucks. Today, we're gonna be making maze soba, one of the most popular Japanese ramen. This creamy, savory, sumless ramen is also known as Taiwan maze soba, but the fun fact is, it doesn't have much to do with Taiwan, and it was actually invented in Japan. But none of that really matters. It's gonna be so delicious, and that's what matters, right? Trust me, once you slurp, you will totally understand why it's been so popular in Japan. For this, you will need some pork, garlic chives, green onions, garlic, ginger, dried bonito flakes, dried seaweed, eggs, and noodles. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of ingredients, so it might seem a bit daunting, but don't worry about it. It's not complicated at all. We just need to cook only two ingredients, noodles and pork. So don't be overwhelmed and give this a try. I'm sure you will absolutely love it. All right, let's start with the vegetables. First, Take a big handful of garlic chives, trim off the ends, and cut them into little pieces. These will add a mild oniony flavor, and that will take it to the next level. Next, thinly slice two or three green onions. The whites are gonna be used for aromatic oil, and the greens are gonna be used as a topping. So please keep them separately, like this. Once that's done, smash and finely chop four cloves of garlic, and divide them in half. Just like the green onions, we're gonna use one half for the oil and the other half will be used as a topping. This time, grate a small knob of ginger, about half a teaspoon would be enough. Now some of you might ask, Aaron, that's a such a small amount, can I just keep it? I wish I could say yes, but pork and ginger, they're match made in heaven. Even though it's a small amount, it's gonna add so much more flavor and bring it to the next level. Just like Tokyo Treat and Sakurako bring joy to your doorstep. Tokyo Treat is a monthly snack subscription box straight from Japan. It's filled with up to 20 of the latest and most exclusive snacks and drinks that are only available in Japan. For example, if you open the box, you can see some limited edition or seasonal flavored Japanese snacks, and this month's theme is Tokyo Snackation, where you can experience the best Japanese flavors like Kit Kat Royal Milk Tea, Koikea Ume Chips, Pokemon Chocolate Marshmallow, Melon Cream Soda, and many more. You're looking for some traditional snacks? Don't worry about it. With Sakurako, you will get local and authentic Japanese snacks from artisan snake makers, including Japanese chromamate tea and special Japanese tableware, Tokyo Plate. And this month's theme is Traditions of Tokyo. And you will find delightful snacks from Tokyo like Hinari Arare, Mizu Warabi Mochi, and Mochi Monaka. What? You're kind of worried about getting local snacks? Because of the language, ingredients, or allergens? Don't worry about it. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako provide a booklet in the box. It contains all the information about the snacks, snake makers, and even interesting cultural stories about Japan. If you're interested in experiencing Japan for yourself, go to the link in my description and use my code ANC. You will get $5 off your first order. You want to experience the real Japan? Wherever you are, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako will be with you. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Now to amp up the umami, let's prepare some bonito flakes. We're gonna grind them into a powder, so you could use a blender or a mortar and pestle. But let me give you one little tip to save some dishes to wash. Get yourself 4 grams of bonito flakes and microwave it for about 1 minute. And then just crumble it with your hands. How about that? This way, you can't escape the stress of having to wash the blender. Is it just me? Am I the only one who hates washing the blender? You're welcome. Lastly, let's make the sauce for our pork topping. In a small container, add 1 tablespoon of Chinese chili bean paste, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of mirin or sake, a few shakes of black pepper, and give it a good mix. 
This is gonna be pretty spicy, but if you're a huge fan of spicy foods, so you wanna make it even spicier, then add a little bit of chili oil here. For information, we have all the instructions and a list of ingredients on our blog erinandclaire.com. So please visit here if you need a written recipe. Finally, it's cooking time. Get yourself a wok or pan, add two tablespoons of oil and heat it over medium high heat. Once it's heated, add the white parts of the green onions, garlic, ginger, and make the aromatic oil for about one minute. Once they start to smell real nice and pick up a little bit of color, add 200 grams of ground pork, break it into little pieces, and cook for about three minutes. Once the pork is no longer pink, pour in your sauce and give it a good stir for about two minutes. The fat from the pork meets a lovely sauce and that will create an amazing flavor. Once you can see some beautiful chili oil here and there and the pork is cooked through, remove it from the wok and set that aside. Now let's cook the noodles. Fill your pot with enough water and place it over high heat. Once the water starts boiling, add the noodles and cook according to the package instructions. Here, I'm using 250 grams of fresh majisoba noodles for two servings, but any kind of thick noodles will work beautifully in this dish. So just use what you have on hand. Everything will be fantastic. Once the noodles are cooked, drain and put them in a mixing bowl. And then add 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of chili oil, 1 teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, some black pepper, and toast the noodles until they're nice and evenly coated. If you have a family member who can't handle spicy food so well, you can skip the chili oil here. No problem at all. And if it's difficult to mix the noodles, add a few tablespoons of the reserved cooking water. That's gonna help mix the noodles thoroughly. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's put them all together. Put half of the noodles in a serving bowl and place your toppings one by one. The order doesn't really matter, but if you want to make it more visually appealing, try not to put the same color right next to it. That's the key. Once that's done, put half of the pork topping in the middle and finish it with an egg yolk. But if you can't trust how fresh your egg is, feel free to substitute with a poached egg or sunny side of egg. It's gonna work like a creamy, flavorful sauce. So rather than just skipping it, I highly recommend using other options. Alright, looks like it's done. But I have one more thing to put on. Tempura bits. Actually, this is totally optional, but these are gonna add a crunch texture, so you'll be so much fun to have this dish. Finally, it's really done. How does it look? Looks absolutely gorgeous, just like a piece of art. You wanna know how it tastes? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Claire. Woo! Majesoba ne? This is my second time to try this dish. I remember that was delicious, so I'm super excited to try it again. Let's give it a try! Wow, this is so beautiful. It's like a shape of a shape. It's so beautiful. It's gonna be a good sauce for this noodle dish. Ooh, so many toppings. It can be not delicious. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. It's like a little bit of 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 a little Oh, oh, 맛있다, 되게. Mmm. 확실히 매콤한 고기 토핑이 중간 중간 잘 섞여 있어가지고 약간의 킥을 딱딱 주면서 너무 맛있어. 그리고 팬카츠 있잖아. 예술이다. 깜짝 놀랐어. 먹는데 평상시 때 느껴보지 못한 뭔가 이렇게 과자 팍 먹는 느낌 있지. 그게 갑자기 예상치 못하게 입에서 탁탁 터져주니까 <웃음> 너무 재밌네. 그리고 여기 마늘 있지? 생마늘 들어간 거. 이게 약간 그 알싸함을 추가해줘가지고 뭔가 이렇게 중독적으로 만들어주는 그런 요소가 있네. 그 여러 가지 요소들이 너무 잘 어울려져서 균형을 잘 이뤄주네. 음, 맛있어. <웃음> By any chance, if you are worried that it tastes fishy because of dry seaweed or bonito flakes, they just give us nice smokiness and lots of umami. I feel like I'm in Japan right now. I need some Japanese draft beer. <laughs> and let me give you one more pro tip. After finishing half of this noodle, you can add a little bit of vinegar here, like half a tablespoon. 
Then let's see. Woohoo! 이렇게 먹으면 하나의 음식이 아닌 두 가지 음식을 먹는 느낌이 나지. Mmm, 역시 탁월한 선택이었어. I want some more noodle. <laughs> Today, I showed you how to make mazesoba, one of the greatest Japanese ramens of all time. How was it? Since you don't even need to make a broth, it's so simple and easy to make, right? Like I said in the beginning, when you want to have a bowl of ramen, but you don't want to go out, you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is it. This is the way to go. So grab your apron and try. I'm sure something magical will happen to you. Alright, this is it for today. And I'll see you next time.